I'd like to share with you how I went from idea addict to problem profiler and how using the insight around you can help you find your problem, feed a passion and fuel a purpose. But let me start by telling you there is no such thing as the big idea. Sorry, TEDx. I'll go from the beginning. In 1984, I was one of the Western world's most poorly children. Heart attacks, heart failures and cancerous growths dominated the first two years of my life. Can you imagine what a troubling time that was for my family? But my life was saved by a man who was a junior surgeon at the time. He had a team around him, but it was his ingenuity and bravery which brought me back from beyond the brink. Fast forward 30 years later, and I find myself working in partnership with the NHS. Running my own research and marketing agency, my team and I spent months after months and meeting after meeting, working with mental health professionals, with colleges, with kids, with adults, with carers, and with hospitals. We understood the problem in the mental health system. We knew where it worked well, and importantly, we knew where it didn't. After a long day of emotionally charged focus groups, I went to the shop after work, and I saw a friend of mine sat in the car with her daughter, and they were both crying. Inside the shop, my friend told me how her 11-year-old daughter had been self-harming. And she said to me, through tears, what do I do now? Do I just Google for help? Now, my friend didn't know about the months of work my team and I had been doing. So after a cuddle and a cry, I left the shop frustrated, quite angry, driven, and I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to help my friend and her 11-year-old daughter. But before I tell you what I did with that feeling, let me tell you about two other important things that happened in my life at the same time. A lady who I know who has schizophrenia. She was diagnosed and she was taken to a mental health hospital again. And that amazing surgeon who saved my life, he tragically took his own. So what do the struggles of my friend and her daughter, the challenges of that lady I know, and the death of my life-saving surgeon have to do with why I'm here talking to you today? Well, I said that my team and I knew the system, we knew what worked and we knew what didn't, but now, now it was personal. It was affecting me and my life. I was angry, I was bothered, I was frustrated, and I wanted to make a difference, I wanted to help my friend. And this is when me and my team, we started to have ideas, loads of ideas. So if, like me, you find yourself in the situation where you want to make a difference, you might see a problem and you want to make change happen. Let me share with you what we did at the time and what I still share with my business clients today. Number one, surround yourself in insight and understand the problem, where it's come from, who it affects, why it's there. Surround yourself with that insight. Number two, get passionate, get bothered. Get angry, get frustrated, connect it to you, light a fire inside you. Number three, have ideas, Ch -ch -ch -ch. loads of ideas, stick them all around your house. Now, I would love to tell you that the big idea, bing, just lands, but it doesn't. That's just what happens in the films. Because ideas change and they grow and they merge and you add bits together. And then when you find the idea, the bit that lights inside you, that solves a problem and that you're passionate about, run at it. Be that excitable Jack Russell puppy. Tell everyone, talk about it all the time. Go for it, let it drive your purpose. Six months after meeting my friend and crying in the shop, this is what we did. We launched a mental health platform in partnership with the NHS to help people find mental health and well-being support when they're at the start of their journey. So, know the problem, feel passionate about it, have those ideas and connect it to a purpose, and go forth and make change happen. 
and good luck.